Good water quality is critical to keeping healthy fish, invertebrates, and corals long term. One piece of equipment in particular makes it much easier to maintain a successful marine aquarium. Hello, this is Jeremy from Coral View, welcoming you back to another episode of CVTV. Today we will begin a video series dedicated to the most popular form of marine aquarium filtration, the protein skimmer. Foam fractionators, also commonly known as protein skimmers, are considered the most popular and important form of saltwater filtration today. Protein skimmers help oxygenate and actively remove organic compounds from the aquarium water before they break down to ammonia, phosphates, and nitrates that feed unwanted nuisance algae and become a burden on the system's biological filtration. The key advantages of using a protein skimmer are to help reduce the load on a system's biological filtration, help maintain clean water, minimize nuisance algae by removing the food source, promote coral growth by removing light blocking particles from the water, increase oxygen levels and pH. The function of a protein skimmer is rather simple. They work by injecting numerous micro air bubbles and vigorously mixing them with the aquarium water to create a dense foam. The microbubbles produced by the skimmer pump ionically attract dissolved organic compounds as they travel up through the skimmer and eventually are extracted into the collection cup for disposal. There are many different styles and types of skimmers that have come and gone over the years. But countercurrent skimmers have stayed and evolved into some of the most efficient forms of filtration we see today. Pinwheel skimmers provide exceptional performance per watt. An air intake, known as a venturi, is attached to the intake side of the skimmer pump, equipped with a special impeller with many pins that protrude from the rear disc. The pins of the wheel draw water and air into the pump, fractionating the air into massive amounts of finely chopped air bubbles. There are basically three different types of skimmer models available. Hang on the back, in sump, and external recirculating. As the name applies, hang on the back or HOB skimmers are designed to hang on the back of the aquarium. HOBs are a great option for small tanks that don't have a sump or room within the sump to accommodate a properly sized protein skimmer. They are simple to install and models like the Reef Octopus 90 HOB even share the similar features found on traditional in some skimmers. In some skimmers offer the widest range of options by far and are an ideal solution for most setups that have sufficient space within the sump for the appropriate size skimmer. In some skimmers are the easiest to install, securely sitting within the wet confines of the sump and often hidden away by the aquarium stand. In some skimmers are generally cheaper but do require specific water depth to operate properly. It is strongly recommended to add an auto top off to your sump when using an in some skimmer. In some skimmers come in two styles, a traditional style where the skimmer pump is mounted external to the skimmer body and the rather popular space saving model with the pump position within the body to reduce the overall footprint of the skimmer. Performance differences between the two is minimal with the biggest differences being how easy it is to service the pump and the amount of space the skimmer occupies in the sump. Which feature is more important is really up to the end user and their application. The recirculating external skimmer, my personal favorite, is ideal for the advanced aquarist that desires the ultimate in skimmer control and performance. They are often the only solution for aquariums with inadequate sump space or proper height under the cabinet to accommodate a properly sized skimmer for the system. A recirculating external skimmer uses one or more pinwheel pumps with the sole purpose of recirculating water and air within the body of the protein skimmer. The intent is to recycle the water multiple times before it exits the skimmer, resulting in greater odds of removing waste from the water before it returns to the sump. A separate water pump is required to feed water through the skimmer. We recommend using a variable speed water pump like the Reef Octopus Various to easily adjust the flow entering a skimmer without the use of valves. Recircling external skimmers, as the name implies, are often plumbed externally to the sump, so the skimmer's performance is not impacted by fluctuating water levels within the sump. 
They command a higher price, and installations tend to be more intricate compared to in some skimmers. Fear not, we will cover how to properly install a recircling skimmer in a future video. With all the options available, how do we decide on what skimmer is best suited for your particular system? Generally speaking, there are a few basic things that need to be considered when shopping for a skimmer. How big is your tank? Every skimmer has a minimum and a maximum handling capacity of water filtration, and choosing the appropriate skimmer for the system is an important choice to make. The old saying that bigger is better is not true. You can definitely install a skimmer that is too big for your system and experience performance issues. A skimmer size should be matched to your system's bio load and its requirements. Of course, the biomass and the average amount of food added will affect the requirements of the water filtration needed. Too often people end up choosing a skimmer too small or are misled into purchasing one too large for your system. At CoralView.com, we provide an easy to read graphic displaying the handling ranges of all the skimmers we offer. The same specs are also conveniently located on the product packaging. Before purchasing your skimmer, make sure that your tank, not including sump, falls within the skimmer range. The next thing you should take into consideration is available space. Make sure you allow space around the skimmer for easy access and an inch or two of clearance above the skimmer to remove the collection cup. Do not place the output of the skimmer against a wall or surface. Finally, what's your skimmer budget? I understand, price may be an issue, but it is critical to get the properly matched skimmer for your system. Just like when considering aquarium size, the skimmer size is incredibly important. Choose wisely, as an improperly matched skimmer will often fail to perform and lead to countless hours of frustration. In the long run, it is more economical to buy the correct skimmer than to purchase a cheaper version that won't work correctly and eventually forcing you to buy the skimmer that you should have purchased to begin with. Protein skimmers have revolutionized the hobby by making it easier for us to maintain optimal water quality even for the most demanding marine inhabitants. In our next episode of the Protein Skimmer series, we will go over how to install, operate, and maintain our newly purchased protein skimmer. If you have any questions or issues with the product, don't hesitate to visit our support portal at coralview.com forward slash support. Our friendly support reps are eager to help you with any questions or issues you may have. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all the latest product reviews and tutorial videos. You can also follow us on Twitter at CoralView and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash CoralView Aquarium Products.